this problem, we have a function which is a quotient. We're going to need the quotient rule to find the derivative. So let's start by writing that. f over g prime is f prime g minus f g prime divided by g squared. I, maybe I shouldn't reuse the letter f because it's already in use, uh, but uh, that's okay. I'll just pretend that one was a capital F and we'll be all right. Okay, I want to take derivative of this. x over x plus 6 prime. All right, let's start out f prime, derivative of the numerator. Derivative of x is 1 times copy the bottom minus the top times the derivative of the bottom. Derivative of x plus 6 is 1. And the bottom is x plus 6 squared, or g squared. So we have x plus 6 minus x divided by x plus 6 squared. The two x's in the numerator cancel. And that is our f prime of x. So that was how to get the derivative. Now we have to get uh, when does the derivative equal 5. So I'm setting this equal to 5. And solve for x. All right, many of you were trained to always FOIL. It's not a bad move, uh, but I'm going to show you why it's not the fastest move. I want to solve for x, which means get x by itself. Right now it's stuck in a fraction, so what I'm going to do is multiply the whole equation by that denominator, x plus 6 squared. All right, we're getting there. I want x by itself. It is tempting, again, to FOIL this, but if I FOIL it, what I'm going to get is an x squared plus 6x plus 6x, which is 12x, plus 6 squared is 36. Now, I have x twice, and I'd rather have it one time. So let's think about how we can get rid of everything else around x. All right, first thing, I want to get to x. First thing is get rid of the 5, so multiply both sides by 1 fifth x plus 6 squared equals 6 over 5. Now, uh, first of all, this is a positive value. That's important because something squared needs to be positive. Uh, if this was negative 6 fifths, I would say no solution. But it's positive, so we're fine. Square root both sides. Plus or minus square root 6 fifths. Now subtract 6. Negative 6 plus or minus square root 6 fifths. And there's two solutions here, a positive and a negative. Negative 6 minus square root 6 fifths. Or negative 6 plus square root 6 fifths. All right, that would be your two solutions up here. 